Are you curious about FRS or GMRS? My name is Cody, W3AMG, and today I'll be introducing you to two popular methods of two-way radio communication. They both have different use cases, so we'll explain what those are and give you an idea of how these types of radios can improve your communications in everyday life. First, we'll talk about FRS, or Family Radio Service, and then we'll go over GMRS, or General Mobile Radio Service. Let's dive in. To begin, let's talk about FRS. FRS radios are often referred to as walkie-talkies and are generally easy to use. You don't need the license to operate an FRS radio. In fact, you could hand one to a kindergartner and they'd be able to use it without issue. FRS radios tend to be less expensive than your standard DMR radio for reasons including cost of production and ease of accessibility. As a result, they have generated a reputation for being more like toys than useful tools. We're here to tell you the right FRS radio is much more than a toy. They're excellent to have handy when traveling to remote places without cell reception. With proper line of sight, their range can go for tens of miles without audio loss. That means you'd be able to stay in constant contact with your entire group no matter where your adventure takes you. With the right FRS radio, you can rely on stress-free communication in any number of situations. Can you think of a scenario where an FRS radio would come in handy for you? Write a comment down below this video and let us know. If an FRS radio sounds like something you might be interested in, we have great news for you. We just launched our very own FRS radio, the Bridgecom Buddy. Click the link in the description down below to go check it out. It's really exciting. Now let's talk about GMRS. GMRS radios are useful for many of the same reasons FRS radios are useful. They're great for maintaining two-way radio communication over local areas, they're relatively simple to use, and there aren't that many barriers to entry. Unlike an FRS radio, you do need a GMRS license to operate a GMRS radio. But you don't need to worry about taking any tests, you can simply purchase your license online. Compared to FRS, GMRS radios tend to be more powerful with a wider range. Because of this, having a system in place with a GMRS repeater and multiple handheld or mobile radios is great for managing large properties, for example. Interest in GMRS radios has been steadily increasing for several years now as a solution to widespread communication channels become unavailable. Having a GMRS system to use as a backup in worst case scenarios isn't a bad idea either. As the Boy Scouts say, be prepared. Now would be a good time to mention that we are also launching our own GMRS radio soon. To be one of the first to see it, you can sign up for our early bird list in the description of this video. You'll have access to information about the new radio before anyone else, and when it releases, you'll know immediately. Again, that link is in the description right below this video. FRS and GMRS radios are both popular methods of maintaining local two-way radio communication, and each have their own cases. But no matter which one you choose, know that they can act as an essential tool for reliable contact with friends, family, and coworkers in any part of the world, whether you're in downtown New York City or in the middle of nowhere. Be sure to check out our new Bridgecom Buddy FRS radio in the description, and stay tuned for the announcement of our new GMRS radio as well. There's a lot of exciting things happening, fellow hams. We can't wait to share it with you. Once again, my name is Cody, W3AMG73.